All right, what's up you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Google Ads location targeting and the best settings for your campaign, especially if you're a local business. So let's go ahead and get started right away. We're inside a, a one of our clients' Google Ads accounts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the All Campaigns view and you're gonna select the campaign that we're working on. So we only have one here in this example and what we're gonna do is just click it and then go to settings or you can just hover over this and then click this little cog wheel. And now what this is gonna bring up is all the campaign settings across the board. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the locations. So as you can see, once you click on locations, you have a couple options, right? So depending on your business, you're gonna to wanna to select probably not the United States, all of it, right? You wanna select another location, especially if you're a local business, you have a certain service range, you wanna select the another location right here. And as you can see, we have targeted locations and excluded locations. So let's talk about that first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to advanced search and this is kinda gonna bring up our whole map of what we're targeting. And you can go ahead and add, and you can go ahead and add different locations that you wanna target in a hundred different ways. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this everything in blue here is what we're targeting. Everything in red is what is what is excluded, and we'll talk about that here in the exclusions here in a second. But let's say I wanted to add a bunch of areas, right? What would I have to do? I can, if you already know what zip codes you want to target, you can just simply type in the zip codes or the cities in here. For example, if I wanted to tar target Sacramento, California, I can target the city, I can target the county, or whatever I want and then or I can exclude it or just target nearby as well and it will show me what's nearby and I can target all of those as well. It's very simple you just type in what you want to target right. You can also do radiuses it's for whatever reason your business is just like hey I want to target everyone within a five mile radius of my business you can do that as well just enter in your address and it'll automatically populate that little bubble as well. What's also cool is I can start pinning stuff with the radius mode. So if I just click this little toggle right here, and you can see that right there. If I start targeting it, you can see my mouse is now a kind of a location icon. And if I start, I can start putting little bubbles around everywhere and say I can target this area. And then it, it, that's a little bit more manual approach if for whatever reason your zip codes or cities aren't popping up, but you know that that's where you wanna target, you can just do that section as well or that option as well let's go back to location now if I want to manually add sections what you can also do is let's say I want to target Georgia for example and there's a reason why this isn't excluded which I'll show you here in a second let's say I'm not sure what zip codes are here but let's say I just want to target all of Atlanta what I can do is do show all areas and then here it'll zoom in and you can see everything in kind of gray right and if I want it like this is way too much I don't want to target all of this you can show by different filters so if I just want to go by postal code this will show me all the zip codes in here so if I want to target this zip code and this zip code or exclude these I can do that if I want to go by cities it'll show me the different cities in Atlanta so we got so if we want to go by different cities in Atlanta we can go ahead and just do that as well it'll show me the different cities north to cat Atlanta Georgia obviously College Park East Point and I can do that as well I can go by county and so forth I want to just target Clayton County by airport etc so that's kind of how you would target right certain different locations inside of Google Ads bunch of different options depending on your local business usually you know it's gonna be certain cities certain zip codes or like a five to seven mile radius from your business right now for what what's really important is what you want to exclude locations. So as an agency for our clients in the beginning, we didn't exclude any locations, right? So for example, if I go back here, so for example, uh, we in the past, right, we would just target this all this blue, right? And then anything in red that you see here, we wouldn't have excluded. We would have just left it as is. We're like, okay, Google, just target these people and that's it. We don't recommend that anymore. You must exclude your locations that you do not want to target, even if it's kind of like on the edge, just because it just, you don't want the chance of outside people coming in. And you know, it's not perfect. We're not saying if you exclude Worcester here that you're not gonna get some people from that area, but it, it does increase the chance that you will not get people from that area. So we highly recommend doing that as well. Also, we highly recommend excluding all the other states 
that you are not targeting. So this client of ours, for example, is in Massachusetts, right? So we want to exclude every other state that's not Massachusetts just because we've seen for whatever reason, Google just messes up sometimes, right? It's not perfect. We'll get calls from like Ohio, for example, that can happen. So we de definitely want to exclude all 50 states. All we do, all we do is type in a Google search of list of 50 states, right? We just do the word counter one. All I'm going to do is copy this to my clipboard. And then what I would do is go to excluded locations. So I would just type all these in, or sorry, do add locations in bulk and then type these in search and then all the states will pop up right so we we would exclude all of them except for the ones that we don't have or that we except for the one that we're currently targeting right and then for whatever reason georgia never wants to <laughs> play nice there's apparently a georgia somewhere else in the world so you have to manually type in georgia to exclude unless you're in georgia obviously so that's those are some tips for targeting locations and excluding locations the next thing and the most important thing in my opinion especially if you're a local business is that you want to choose this drop down location options and always 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 choose presence people in or regularly in your targeted locations you do not want to be people who have shown interest in your targeted locations for example if i'm in california and i've always wanted to go to seattle and you're a local business in seattle if you have presence or interest your ads might show up for people like me depending on your location targeting but if people in or regularly in those areas or shown interest in those targeted areas, I could be shown that ad even though I don't live in Seattle. And if you're a plumber, for example, in Seattle and you have this turned on, your ads could show to me and you don't, definitely don't want that. You want people in uh, your targeted locations. So make sure that is selected. All right, one other thing you also wanna do as time progresses, right? So this is a different account that we have, um, but over time you wanna go ahead and go to your campaign and then to locations and here you're going to see all the locations that you're currently targeting and the basically all the metrics for each location so for example uh, sacramento california it says that we have a conversion rate in sacramento for 22 percent there's 23 uh, leads and 30 dollars per lead right and what we want to do is okay that's really good so we want to increase our bid in sacramento so we already did that you can see a bid adjustment is three percent we can go ahead and go to five percent for example so now whenever our uh, someone is searching for um, our client services in sacramento our bid is going to increase by uh, five percent and it increases the chances that our ad will be shown um, higher and we want to do that because, well, we it's uh, data has shown over time that uh, there has been 23 conversions at our target cost per conversion, good uh, good conversion rate. So we definitely want to do that. Now, on the flip side, what we also want to do is look at where it's costing way too much per lead. So, for example, uh, one lead cost $83, 8% conversion rate when our average is like 20 what we want to do then in that case is decrease the bid um, sometimes that you have to have enough data like 10 plus clicks or so if it's just one click then don't really do anything but this zip code for whatever reason is just not working that well so we're going to decrease by two percent for example then in 30 days or in a quarter or so i'm going to go ahead and check this location has it improved if so we're going to adjust the bids and we're going to do that for all of our locations um, let's for example i can do cost filter by cost and see what has been costing me money but has also not produced many conversions so for example 83 dollars i think that's the same one um, so this one has 82 dollars spent and only one conversion, so basically the same amount. There's been 10 clicks, so we're gonna do the same thing, negative, or basically decrease by 2%. One other thing you can do is instead of doing targeted locations, you can do match locations. So what this means is that you're gonna start at the United States, and then you can pick uh, what you wanna look at. So if you have counties that you're targeting, you can filter by counties, cities, postal codes. So let's just look at all the postal codes that we're targeting and you can kind of filter it through that way as well. I can see that uh, this zip code is doing pretty well, four conversions, 15%, so I'm gonna increase that by 1%. So we're gonna go here, edit, add target and set bid adjustments, so we're gonna increase by 2%.
So that's another quick tip for location targeting. Once you have it all added to your account, uh, you make sure you want to do these bid adjustments because over time these will help your campaign and get you more leads. And that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. It's a quick one, but if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.